In Canyonlands National Park, there exists a heat so strong, no human has been dumb enough to walk its rocky road in the dead of summer. Until now. Two best friends. Five days. 80 miles. Hey, Lauren. What, Patty? <laughs> this is so stupid. What are we doing here? <laughs> Most people do the White Rim Trail via some type of off-roading machine. Because you're in the desert, and there's no water, and there's no food, and the sun beats down on you uh, with its mega rays of hatred. It's colossal. It is Satan's oven in July. The temperature on the White Rim is anywhere between one million and uh, soul crushing. Literally, it feels like Hades. On the White Rim Trail, which is in the desert, in Utah, and it's July. It's gonna get hot. Everybody stops and asks us if we're okay. Um, because they think that we are crazy people. So are we the toughest or the dumbest? Uh, maybe met? both. I don't know. <laughs> As they don't, they go <laughs> hand in hand. Yeah. If you make it to the yeah. end. Yeah, yeah it's only day one. <laughs> this was the perfect introduction to White Rim for me. <laughs> Here we are, day two, White Rim. The White Rim Trail is a long ass walk in a cool ass desert. You know, this wasn't something we could just step up to the start line and be like, okay, point me towards the barn and send me home. A hike like this like demands your respect and demands your smarts. We've got to have a support crew, a good friend, and you need good gear. Day three, Mother Nature slapped me across the face and was like, you respect me, Missy. But all very sleep deprived and all very hot. Um, all starting to get a little wore down. I'm thirsty all the time. Pretty much, I'm pretty beat up. 15 to 20 mile days, 100 to 120 degree heat. The day of reckoning, this is definitely the crux. <sighs> the heat is for real, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, it is hot out. It's kind of crazy if today, the fourth day, was the first that I've heard Lawrence say, this is really tough. The White Rim is not a trail per se. What it is, is it's just a really crappy, graded mining road. Oh, oh, ow. I'm just so beyond it. Oh. I don't, want, I don't feel anything anymore. How about a soda water I like with cranberry and lemons and limes? Mm, I'm not much for cranberry. What? This, you know what? See you later, I'm walking back. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I took a deep breath and just asked the universe, please help me find the fun. Please help me find the fun today. You just got to know that it's going to pass. I'm never leaving this water ever again. Oh my God. I'm never going anywhere. Oh my God, that was so worth it. And it was amazing. The last day is pretty much the same day that you finally adjust. We're at like mile 78.5, which means we have a mile and a half left. 
If we came out here with stuff that wasn't performing up to par, we were not going to have a good time. And we've had an incredible time. Our hikers, Patty O'Connell, the jiggly mustache ski bum, Lauren Steele, the mitochondria of the White Rim. Together, a force, a dumb, dumb force. White Rim is a boss. I would describe White Rim as a boss. That felt right. I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of you. Pushing through and then getting to these huge rewards leads you to a lot of gratitude. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm so glad that we did that. I'm so glad. Why are we laughing? That wasn't funny. The spirit of this trip was certainly to just challenge yourself and have fun in a challenge. The best part of any adventure, hanging out with your friends and goofing around, having fun. <laughs> I need some water. <laughs> I'm like, I need a water, uh, a shower, and a change of circumstances. <laughs> okay.